Welcome to this mindful meditation from Guatemala in a small town called Antigua. This meditation is designed to remind you, remind all of us, of the powerful lessons we encounter on our journey through life. As you find a comfortable position, I'll allow for us to have about 60 seconds so we can find that place undisturbed with as much quiet as possible. And once we find that place, if you can just either lie down or sit in a comfortable position or way. So our 60 seconds starts now. Wonderful. So let's begin by breathing, of course. We will be taking some deep breath in. We'll be holding it for count of seven. And then we will exhale slowly for the count of five. We will go again, inhale and hold for count of seven, and then exhale slowly through our mouth for the count of five. So we we'll started a count of three. Ready? One, two, three three deep breath in and hold for seven one two three four five six seven exhale for five one two three four five deep in inhale and hold one two three four five six seven exhale one two three four five inhale and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Inhale. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale slowly. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That was great. Now, just allow your breathing to go back to its normal pace. Wonderful. As you inhale and exhale. Our mindful meditation today, see it as a sort of reminder, I would say. I would even go as far as say, let's, let's almost treat it as a secret time for reflection and for inspiration. I'll be going through what I think are five lessons that we learn throughout our lives and that sometimes we forget or maybe we need a quick reminder, a refresher. Continue to breathe in and out. Have to kindly at your own pace and when you're ready, gently close your eyes beautiful. Now we're going to change the music a little bit. Maestro, please. Thank you. As we navigate life, there are many lessons we will learn. Some of them may come to us the hard way. 
Some are lessons that we may learn from others. One I think that is also important is to know yourself before others define you. Aristotle once said, Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Isn't that great? Put your eyes closed. I'd like you to envision yourself. How do you know yourself? What are the elements that make you, you? In the silence of your own presence, remember the importance of understanding who you truly are before allowing the world to shape you. Your essence, your values, your dreams. These are the compass by which you navigate life. Let this wisdom guide you to a deeper self-awareness and authenticity. Envision See yourself. See yourself in that moment, in that time, when you knew, this is me. This is me. Lesson number two, embrace change as a catalyst for growth. Change is the law of life and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. John F. Kennedy, as we embrace the person that we've become the person who we've defined. How do we handle change? Life is a constant. It's constantly flowing, it's constantly changing. And it is within that flux that we find our greatest potential for growth. Embrace each change each challenge as an opportunity to learn and to expand beyond your current boundaries. Let go of resistance and open your heart to the possibilities that change brings. Deep breath in. Oh, exhale out. Deep breath in. Hold. Exhale out. I know it's easier said than done. But change, and when we go with the flow, when we accept that which is coming, that which perhaps the universe has prepared for us. Maybe we need it so badly, this change, that change.
because the universe has something even greater, better. Sometimes we get so used to toxic environments that we forget that we are in one. And I'm speaking from experience. As I myself accept the changes ahead of me, allowing the greater, allowing the universe, allowing that which we may call God. Accepting the path that is laid out for me. Let's embrace change, for it is a catalyst for growth. Can you go back to a time where change has been fundamental for you? where perhaps you resisted it, but once it was accepted, you reap the benefits and the good of it. Deep breath in and out. By this time, your body should feel relaxed and any sort of pain or any sort of area of muscles that is bringing discomfort. We exhale out and we inhale that beautiful, wonderful healing power. Lesson number three, gratitude transforms perspectives. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Melody Bisti. In the stillness of your breathing, Focus on the abundance that life offers. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can shift your perspective, turn in what we have into enough. And where we need no more. It is a reminder that even in our darkest moments that there is light, light to be found in the lessons and beauty that life provides. Have you practiced gratitude? What are the things you are also grateful for? Waking up this morning, laughter, a wonderful meal, time spent with friends, family, loved ones. either out loud or in your inner voice. Say the things that you're grateful for. Let the universe hear them as you give gratitude. Breathe in deeply. Exhale out. 
out. Let the universe hear. That which you are gratitude and grateful for. Let it be known. Lesson number four, compassion connects humanity. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about, Wendy Moss. Let this meditation open your heart to the power of compassion. In a world where their own struggles. Compassion becomes the bridge that connects us, reminding us of our shared humanity. Images sometimes where it's hard to see where we have forgotten our humanity. We have forgotten our shared humanity. Let this understand and inspire kindness and empathy in your interactions with others. Connection, compassion with others does not mean that we forget or that we're not careful, that we're not mindful, that we're not aware. What compassion does and what connection with humanity does is that I say as I see you, I hear you. I understand in some ways your circumstances. And my humanity extends to you. Think of a time where you needed to show your humanity, regardless of how difficult it was, you showed up and you extended your hand. Whether the other took it or not, you showed your humanity. You showed up with grace, empathy. You connected.
Lesson number five. Resilience is born in the face of adversity. The human capacity for burden is like bamboo, far more flexible than you've ever believed at first glance. Jody Picot. As you breathe deeply, draw strength from the resilience that resides within you. Like bamboo, you have the ability to bend without breaking, to withstand life's storms. And you know you have. Remember, it is not the adversity itself, but how you respond to it that defines your strengths. A lesson I often have to remind myself of. All of them. I often have to remind myself of. In this fast, rapid moving world, where it's a luxury sometimes to just take the time to stand still, to hear your, yourself, to hear your own thoughts, to cut out the noise that so constantly bombards us with images and messages and people saying who you are, what we should be, what we shouldn't be, who we should live up to, what expectations awaits us, who are we disappointing today, who are we giving up ourselves for, how are we betraying ourselves today. But you know, we're like, we're like bamboo. The ability to bend without breaking and to come back, to come back to the center, to come back to who we are. The strength. You are everything you are meant to be. Say it. Let's say it together. I am. I am everything I am meant to be. And I am enough. Say it to the universe. I am what I am meant to be. And I am enough. One more time. I am who I am meant to be. And I am enough. As we conclude this meditation, carry these lessons with you. Know yourself deeply and authentically. Embrace change as a path to growth. Cultivate gratitude for a transformed perspective. Exercise compassion to connect deeply with others. Rely on your inner resilience in the face of challenges. Let these insights uplift, inspire, and motivate you as reminders of the wisdom that life imparts. Hold them close as beacons of light on your journey. 
I love you all very much. And as they would say, Namaste. Slowly bring yourself back to this time and this moment. Wiggle your toes, your fingers, and when you're ready, gently open your eyes. I thank you for this privilege and honor to share this time and moment with you. Thank you.